All right, guys, I brought you the Dogo story, and this is actually another one to show you how much of a hit our professionals are going to start getting. Those of you spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to become doctors and lawyers are soon going to be replaced by computer systems. Meet Ross, the new lawyer replacement. Not kidding. Ross Intelligence is allowing these systems to work as attorneys. Um, I forget. Baker Hymanshfield or something like that was one of the uh, first companies to actually use them and those guys are using them for bankruptcy and divorce settlements among others uh, to run paperwork and various things. And let me just get straight into here because this is more important every time I see it because this is actually a real thing really happening. And that group alone said that they were going to lay off 50 lawyers because of this one AI. Now, this is the actual website form, rossintelligence.com slash lawyers, or at least one of them. Legal research is, is an expensive and consuming process that affects practice or your practice and your clients. Future of legal process. Ross is an artificial intelligence attorney to help you power through legal research. Ross improves upon existing alternatives by actually understanding your questions in natural sentences like, can a bankruptcy company still conduct business? Or can a bankrupt company still conduct business? I apologize. Ross then can provide you an instant answer with citations and suggest highly topical readings from a variety of context sources. Ross is built on IBM's Watson's uh, cognitive computer. Uh, almost all of the legal information that you rely on to, to basically construct data, Ross already knows basically on various other things. So what can Ross do? Provide a highly relevant answer, not thousands of results or, yeah, whatever. Uh, to your question posed in natural language, not keyboard. So. Uh, monitor law for changes that can positively negatively affect your case instead of flooding you with legal news. Learn the more you and others lawyers use it. Um, but basically how it's being implemented is basically a, a replacement for at least some, some uh, agencies of law. So I'm going to get into that in a second as soon as I can find that page because there were two or three good ones I had yesterday. Uh, Artificial Intelligent Lawyers Ross has been hired by its first law firm. Maybe I can just use this. Um, Ross for its bank. Okay, here it is. So yes, okay, I don't have to go to another source. Baker and Holster have announced that they will be employ Ross for its bankruptcy practice. Currently compromise almost 50 lawyers. Through IBM's Ross to handle their bankruptcy practice, which is a momentum which consists of nearly 50 lawyers, according to the CEO and co-founder Andrew Arruda. The firm, the firms have almost signed licenses with Ross, and they will also be making announcements shortly. So this is the one that is worth reading. Uh, Baker and Hostler, the uh, the law firm that hired one of them, Chief Information Officer Bob Craig, explains the rationale behind the latest hire. A at Baker and Hostler, uh, we believe the emerging technologies like cognitive computing and other forms of machinery uh, learning can help enhance services we deliver to our clients. And basically, it says by using Ross. Since the first days of its development, we are proud to partner with a true leader in the industry and we continue to develop additional AI legal assistance, he added. So this is your legal replacement. Let me explain what this actually means. This means that they're no longer just using fast program to target people's behaviors and get them into a jail cell and get them pills and run them through 
various algorithms of behavioral cognitive therapy. This means pretty soon you're going to end up going to a law firm and having your case run through a robot who is going to find those systems and run your case through and not give a shit about the human aspect of it. This means quite soon, ladies and gentlemen, if there's a lawyer, that means sooner or later, I'm not kidding, ladies and gentlemen, there are going to be AI judges. You're not even going to have a judge. You're just going to basically receive a piece of paper saying, you know, there's a total of 15 points on this or that or this or that. And according to this system, at this point in time, uh, you know, these are the verdicts. And, you know, you're going to find yourself 45 days in jail. And you used to have the legal paperwork right in front of you that says, look, I didn't do anything wrong. There's nothing here on my side that said I did anything wrong. And what's going to happen? You're going to have to spend probably better part of the 45 days or whatever it is in, in the jail cell. And then you're going to have to go before a human magistrate who is going to have to overturn it probably after 45 days. Meanwhile, you now owe 45 days worth of money to that court system because the AI lawyer and the AI judge fucked it up because of all the fast programs and all the data modeling and algorithmic Things that everybody called a conspiracy 5 and 10 and 15 years ago that were being implemented under the War on Terror Act or Patriot Act among facial recognition software and hundreds if not thousands of other things. Ladies and gentlemen, this is actually happening. $15 an hour is replacing, or the people wanting $15 an hour are getting replaced by cash registers. They're taking money and then people are making the food in the background. Now you're professionals, a.k.a. lawyers, no doubt, doctors, and, well, we, we see doctors are being replaced by robotics all the time, but not AI yet. Uh, so lawyers are getting replaced, soon to be, there's going to be AI judges, I guarantee it, folks, I guarantee it. This is the reality, I'm not kidding you, folks, thank you.